Hey guys, what's going on? Nomadic Men Owner doing a drive time video. I'm here in Southwest Florida. Um, I'm actually now living right now with my grandfather to save some money so I can look for a place on the East Coast and to save money also for a uh, big trip that I'm trying to plan. But with that, and the reason why I'm not doing my chats right now at all is simply because he doesn't even know what high speed internet is. We're trying to work that out right now. So I'll give you an update and everything about that when I actually get it. I want to start the chats back, especially now with everything that's going on. So on a positive note, what I was thinking about was history repeats itself. And I was wondering, like, what if history repeats itself simply because we teach it? And I'm not saying we have to get rid of history class and everything because that's probably not the best thing. But it, it's a good side, bad side type of thing. Someone can look at some good history and go, oh, let's keep doing it. Let's go. Let's go forward. Or, you know, some crazy person out there can go, hey, Hitler was awesome. Yay, let's do what he did. But he failed. So let's look at his successes and go forward with them and then look at his failures and avoid them and make them better so I can actually accomplish the goal. That's bad. So it's kind of unavoidable. And we all say it. But with everything going on and the fact that I stopped watching TV this year, I started thinking, when you start watching more motivational documentaries, you actually have a better outlook on things. Like when I, I stopped watching it this year, watch these documentaries like Dirt and Back to Eden and stuff, even though the ground was frozen up in New Jersey and I was so gung-ho and ready to go garden, I couldn't do anything yet. I was thinking, what if the mainstream TV started putting on more positive messages and just putting it out there. That's why a lot of people stopped watching TV, because of that reason. You know, before you had a choice of reading a book and all this, and it was a lot better. But now you're kind of bombarded with all this negative or just useless knowledge that they're throwing out there, in my opinion. You might agree, you might not, it's okay. If more than half of our television shows were about to actually move forward, then maybe crazy idea out there that things would actually change and become better. Instead of watching TV and going to Real Housewives or Jersey Shore or whatever TV show that you want to watch and they just decided to put on stuff about how to make things better and moving forward in a positive direction, it might actually do something. I don't know, I'm just throwing that out there. As I was looking at my little cousins, I'm like, I love my little cousins. This is the future. You know, they are the future. I don't have kids of my own, so it's not the exact same thing, but they're the closest that I got right now. And, you know, if you can motivate them to do something, and they're actually smiling and enjoying it, and, you know, growing their own bananas and stuff, it's it, it's just, it makes me feel better, and I'm, I'm guessing other people would feel better too if they start seeing that their children are doing something positive and moving forward and not just becoming you know, brainwashed in like public schools what they're doing. Community gardening, I don't know if you have to go to a park and legally go through your town or whatever and get paperwork done, or you can find someone that's willing to donate their uh, portion of their property, or maybe you can get, you can talk to your neighbors and see if they want to donate a portion of their property and be like, hey, you know, we want to start growing this and this and this, would you be willing to, you know, do this in organic heirloom type of way? you know, with non-GMO food. Which leads me to the next thing. Because the mainstream media was mainly covering the news on the marriage equality thing. Honestly, I don't understand how that can still be a problem. I have a lot of family members and friends that are homosexual. It doesn't bother me and think about it. it shouldn't bother you either. It's the year 2013, wake up. My problem was while that was going on and everyone was pretty much brainwashed and sidetracked, they signed into account the Monsanto Protection Act, which mainly makes Monsanto now above the law, basically. This makes no sense to me whatsoever. And now that they have to have a Protection Act, it simply shows to me that it seems that they know what they're doing is wrong. All right, guys, so now that the Monsanto Protection Act is signed, how are we going to move forward with a solution towards that? Well, here's a little bit of a snippet that kind of might put a little, you know, stick in the wheel and, and kind of grind it to a halt. 
Back in 2009, it was proposed by Senator Dick Durbin to put forward the Senate Bill S-510, uh, which was called the FDA Food Safety Modernization Act, then later was renamed by the House of H.R. 2751. Same name, same reason. What does this mean? It means that it will essentially make it illegal to grow, share, trade, or sell homegrown foods and will make all agriculture in the United States of America go under Department of Homeland Security and Department of Defense. Someone with a backyard home garden could potentially have their property seized. This goes back to Obama's executive order for the NDRP or National Defense Resource Preparedness to take all of your resources when they want them, which is trampling over your Third Amendment. I'll link everything below because this kind of hinders the solution. Because if you want to move forward and start growing your own and doing all this organic, heirloom, non-GMO stuff, they already can tell you that it's illegal and that it's a problem. So, throwing that out there. Alright, so what I was saying in the beginning of the video, one, our children are the future and we need to teach them and put them uh, put them towards more motivational positive you know education go out in nature learn you know ask questions do not force them to lose their you know their creativity and everything because most people that actually do change the world are the ones that kept the child inside and everything and didn't get brainwashed out also with that what are we going to do with the Monsanto Protection Act and HR 2751 or whatever it's called the FDA Food Safety Modernization Act it's ridiculous alright guys so if you like what I'm talking about please like subscribe comment find me on Google Plus I'll add you in the chats I want to get them back up and running again if you have any idea just we can all collaborate together and start putting together a plan because the only way that this is gonna work because I think I actually saw that, I think it was maybe April 6th on Facebook page Occupy Monsanto, they want to have everyone eat in. Well, the only way that's going to work is if everybody does it. If less than half of the people do it, it's really not going to send a statement. If everyone does it, then it is. So please spread that too. We're going to also have to do, I mean, there's there's so much to talk about. I want to get this this live chat thing going again. And I don't know if it's going to be let's all gorilla garden and throw seed bombs or whatever because the way that I'm looking at it, if growing your own backyard garden is going to be illegal, what's the difference of throwing things into, uh, you know, forest? So anyways, I know it sounds corny when I say it, but for this video it definitely makes, makes sense when I say together we can grow a better future. So really think about it, spread it, let get, let's get everybody involved. I don't care if it's you and your neighborhood or we just need to all start thinking together. Have a great day. Stay positive and smile.